Hi, welcome to a short tutorial on uh, running totals or cumulative sums uh, in, um, in R. Let's get to it. So uh, we'll load up dplyr and uh, tidyr. Uh, as always, you can uh, check out what your uh, working directory is just in case. And let's load up this uh, data set and write the CSV to the working directory. So here's a little Excel data set. Um, it's got the date, um, three states, New York, Florida, and California, and some arbitrary, uh, some randomized uh, sales data. Let's throw that into a pivot table. And let's uh, do a uh, sales by date. <coughs> Excuse me. So throw sales in there again by sum and show values as running total on date. So what you have here is basically the, um, the first one is equals to this, and the second one is equal to this plus this, the third to these three, etc., etc. So very straightforward in R is just to use the cum sum, um, uh, which is cumulative sum. Uh, from base R, and that's going to work in just the same way, but it's a very uh, simplified uh, way of using cumsum, and let's have a look at a couple more uh, interesting scenarios. So, and at the very basic level, just run the cumsum on, on, uh, on the table, and you see the exact same thing, so this is these two, and this is these three, etc. But note that what we did in Excel is round it up or group it all by dates, okay, and then run the uh, come sum on this. So let's do the same thing here. We'll take it the by date, okay, uh, in dplyr and uh, pass it the uh, df data frame, and then we'll select the date and sales, and group by date and summarize. Uh, that is sum of sales will be the sales column. And then we'll use mutate to add a few uh, a few more columns. Uh, the cumulative sales, the cum sales will be cum sum of sales. And then, then we'll also add a total sales, and then the percent of total for the running total. So again, let's go to uh, Excel just to visualize this. So I'll throw the sales in there a third time. <coughs> Excuse me, and then we'll show it as the running total percent on dates, and that'll give us the accumulation uh, by percentage. So let's run this in R. And you see much the same thing, okay? So you got the sales, the cumulative sales, the total sales is there only as an assistance uh, assistance um, uh, column, and then the percent of total all the way up to 100. So if you're if you're coming from an SQL background, then uh, you this would be like a subquery bringing only the the unfiltered total sales, and then this would be um, the, the cumulative sales and the percent of sales would be using uh, something like uh, over partition by and ranking stuff in order to achieve the, the running total in, in absolute sales and in percentage. Now let's throw in the state. So we have the um, uh, running total basically for California, then the running total for uh, Florida, then for New York, and let's do the same thing in R. So this will be by date two. We're doing uh, the same thing, only we're selecting state first, then date, then sales, then we're grouping by state and then date, uh, summarizing the exact same thing, and let's see how that, uh, if, if R is uh, going to do it in the same way that Excel does it. And the answer is it does. So it's going to run the um, running totals 
uh, on each of the states and the dates and then restart with the next state and the next uh, state etc. And in the last case uh, which is a little bit uh, more complex is we're going to throw the states in the columns and Excel is uh, quite clever and uh, knows how to deal with this beautifully so you have the um, for each state you have the um, sales and then um, the cumulative sales and then the uh, running total and percentage okay so we want to uh, achieve the same thing in R it takes a little bit more work but not uh, a whole lot more so there's going to be by date three data frame and we're going to select the same uh, the same data group in the same way summarize in the same way and we're going to add this spread from the tidy R package um, you can go to the tutorial about pivot tables to see what that's all about um, spread state and uh, sales so that's going to uh, uh, send those from rows to columns and then uh, because uh, this is not Excel, you have to explicitly uh, add a cum sum for each one of the um, each one of the um, of the states in this case. So we have a cumulative sum for California, a cumulative sum from Florida, uh, and for um, uh, from New York. And then just for good measure, so it's in good order, we're going to reselect and uh, just put them in the in in the same order as they uh, as they are in Excel. Otherwise, they would be uh, it would be California, Florida, New York, and then come some California, come some Florida, and come some New York. So let's run that. And here you are, California, uh, the running total for California. And again, if you want to add the other columns for uh, totals and um, uh, running totals in, in percent, then you can do that as well. Um, the reason, by the way, that um, this is uh, doing the cumulative sum on California, uh, the cumulative sum on Florida, is because when you do the spread, uh, it's going to create those uh, new columns with whatever data points are in the uh, in in the spread uh, vector. So in that case, you have California, Florida, and New York. So you're just going to get if you just run that part, um, what you're going to see is uh, that you have three new columns, which are called California, Florida, and New York, and in them you have sales data. So sales California, sales Florida, sales New York, and that's what you're running the cumulative sum on. So I hope you get that. Um, can be uh, quite useful. Um, and let me know if you have any comments. Thanks.